wrestling fans, F and True followers, and members of the YWC. Brian Crazy, JC Styles, and we are F and True Wrestling. Back at you with our Monday Night Raw review for August 15th, 2011. It was an alright show on Raw. It, SummerSlam was a hard show to follow. It really was. I mean, a lot of good stuff happened last night at SummerSlam. Tonight was a decent, I, in my opinion, it was a decent, well-rounded Raw. What did you think, JC? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't, like, anything ground pinnacle. Uh, kind of upset that um, Rey Mysterio didn't win tonight. I mean, I wanted to see him win the title back. I think it was uh, kind of an unfair thing that he was he lost it only just after winning it like an hour before. You know, last night I wanted to see CM Punk retain. And, you know, we really didn't get much information out of this show. I mean, what's ha did, you know, like Triple H text Nash? Is Nash BSing and being a, a liar? I mean, we don't really know what's going on. Exactly. And we don't know who... We didn't get no answers, so therefore it wasn't, like, any, like, furthering any storyline. We don't really know who hired Nash at this point. Nash is saying that it was the game. The game is saying he doesn't know what's going on. We got Stephanie McMahon back in the mix. I mean, the storyline is going to keep developing, but like JC said, we didn't find out too much tonight. They just kind of teased, and they want to try to keep everybody tuned in. They want to, you know, within coming weeks, we'll see the storyline unfold. I'm sure it'll unfold. Well, even, we didn't even hear Triple H, like, really go at, it's go out and say anything. Like, after Nash accused us and said that he got a text message from Triple H, Triple H, like, really had no... No, Triple H really didn't address it. We yeah. had CM Punk come out and touch on that, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, we're really not going to dwell on tonight's Raw too much, guys. We'll run through the match card. We'll mention a couple of the highlights, and we're going to call it a night. It has been, uh, if you guys have been watching the videos the last couple of days, it has been a busy week here at F and True Wrestling. We've got a lot of big stuff planned for you guys, and just a lot of stuff going on in me and JC's personal lives. You know, we love the show, we love wrestling, and it is one of our top priorities, but, you know, things do happen around the show that we do have to handle. Um, but to start off the show, we see Triple H come out. Uh, he talks about the events of last night, and then he invites Alberto Del Rio to the ring. Alberto Del Rio kind of starts off like he was going to take a face persona as the uh, as the champion, talking about how he's going to defend the title with honor for all the people yeah. in the arena, and you know, and he's even starting to get some cheers. And then at the last minute, he's got to start insulting Rey Mysterio. Well, I mean, I knew he wasn't good. I knew he wasn't. You know, I mean, like I said, to me, I don't know what WWE's planning to do with Del Rio if he's going to be a two-week champion. Or, ha or is he going to drop the title once they come back from touring Mexico? Which, you know, it's, in my mind, I really can't see Del Rio being champion. I mean, right now. Why can't you? I mean, they took the, I mean, they took a guy like The Miz, who was yeah, a reality star. Yeah, The Miz was in the WWE for six years before he actually won the title. Yeah, but... Del Rio's only been in there for a year. Yeah, but the uh, but Del Rio's a proven, rex uh, proven wrestler in another company. And, I'm you know, I'm tired of all these comments we'd be getting, too. Oh, I only care what he did in the WWE. Uh, the world of wrestling, this isn't a crack on the WWE or anything of that nature, but the world of wrestling is bigger than the WWE. Until WWE became the biggest company in North America, when you used to have competition, when you used to have five to ten wrestling promotions, guys bounced around, and they made names for themselves in other companies. Yeah. Then they made, them, made it to the WWE, and they're like, oh shit, that's Rick Martel, remember him from... Or, yeah. oh my god, that's Kerry Von Erich, remember him from down in WCCW? You know... Just because he wrestled in Mexico doesn't mean that, you know, he was dug out of a trash can. The guy, Dos Caras Jr., is an incredible athlete. And just because he's only been in the WWE for a year doesn't mean that he hasn't paid his dues elsewhere. And I don't know. Personally, I see him as being a great champion. I think it's something new. I think it's something fresh. I do agree with JC. I kind of would have liked to see CM Punk run with it for a little bit. But if they not, bought, it, 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 actually, to be honest, if you think about it, they bought Punk back way too quickly. They did. They did. I thought they should. They have rushed the storyline, and there were no one was interested. Well, you know, they kept it interesting for the first couple of weeks, but I, I any, mean, any they, they Punk rushed comes it, out. No offense, no offense to any anybody out there. I'm not offending, but okay, they rushed the storyline to put the title on Del Rio so they can tour Mexico. That is part of the backstage speculation. That's what we're hearing. But if you really think about it. Del Rio's been planned to be either the world's heavyweight champion or the WWE champion at least four or five times over, and plans have changed. Ever since WrestleMania 27, they've talked about putting the strap on him. So they finally have done it now. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad Cena's not champion, but at that point, I'd rather have, would have seen Ray hold on to the title or CM Punk. Well, the problem with Ray right now is Ray's hurt. And Ray can't hold his own right now. Ray needs to get better. Ray needs to stop wrestling every week for a couple weeks and nurse that knee. Because Ray's not going to be able to wrestle anymore. Well, that's WWE. That's not... That's no, not Ray... Ray, I've heard backstage that Ray is a stubborn guy and he will not give up and he'll keep going until he can't go no more. And he's the one that shows up every And that's week. a champion. That is a champion, and I don't doubt that. But they know that he can't perform at the level that he wants to, so why put the strap on him if he's going to end up out hurt? Also, he needs to nurse that knee. Also, just to take a, a quick, you know, 180 in this video real quick, you know, we've been getting comments back and forth, oh, Eric Bischoff killed WCW. No. That is not true. Eric Bischoff Wh tried Wiki to... No, 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 don't even, don't even wish about it. Go to Wikipedia, type in World Championship Wrestling, scroll down to the bottom, it gives you three paragraphs on the reasons why WWE, uh, I'm sorry, WCW had to close up shop. Enough said, we're not going to dwell on it, because we, me, Brian, we know the truth. Now it's time for you guys to go out and actually find out the truth for yourselves, because the fact is that I know Brian's tired of having to defend it. I'm tired of having to hear about it. So just go to Wikipedia, World Championship Wrestling, end the story. You know, half the people aren't going to do that, but... But still. To sum it up, two words. AOL, AOL Time, Time Warner. Warner. Merger. Merger. Kevin Sullivan. Enough said. Enough said. I, th that's it. Th there's enough said there. Bischoff tried to buy the company and save it. They would not give him the airtime. What can he do? What's he going to buy a ring and set it up in the middle of a field with no TV? He killed the company. He had money. He wanted to own it. He wanted to continue it. But he killed it because WWF had the right to first purchase under liquidation due to that whole situation in 96 when the Outsiders came in and they said Scott Hall was still portraying his Razor Ramon persona. So it was a loss, uh, lawsuit um, situation. So... You, Read. Wikipedia Read World up on Championship it. Wrestling. I could go on it for 15 minutes. Read up on it, or I did a video several months ago, the legacy of WCW, the 10-year uh, anniversary since the death of WCW. Check out that video. It does go into depth also. So to touch on the couple matches of the night, let's not dwell on it. We had a false count anywhere match where we saw our troop go against Morrison. Which should have been, I believe, should have been on the pay-per-view last night. Oh, it should have been. This was, uh, they, they did good tonight. I'm not going to lie. Our troop actually had music tonight. He did sing along, but it was the What's Up beat. Yeah. They did go, the troop said, did you Yeah. And then they played the, but he was just looking like, he wasn't really talking to anybody tonight. He no. was just looking around, like, really uncomfortable, like, why are they playing music? What's yeah. going on here? Um, then we saw The Miz come out. He cuts a promo. And The Miz basically got a good reaction making, from the crowd. Just basically making fun of Jared from Subway and saying that he could be a better salesman than Jared on Subway. Which, you know, it, we already seen The Miz on uh, Paper Jams. We already seen The Miz on the 7-Eleven commercials. Now we got to see Miz on Subway. I know. The, the, new, the new Jared. The new Jared. The jizz. The jizz. Then we uh, go into a Divas so Tag. Wrong, yeah, I know, right? The Jizz. The Jizz. If you guys don't remember that, Google or YouTube. The Bears. The Bears. That shit was classic, man. Chris Farley, rest in peace, dude. Um, then we go Eve and Kelly Kelly go against the Bellas. Eve and Kelly Kelly did pick up the win in a short tag team match. So, to be honest, I'm just going to call it straight as it is. I actually turned away from my computer and played Fallout during this match. Well, I love Fallout too, but these are some hot chicks, so I couldn't turn away. But that's all right. I'm married, so you can look at the merchandise, you just can't touch it. Um, then we go into Kevin Nash comes out, and this is what we we're talking about earlier. He really provides no explanation. He talks about receiving a text message saying to take out both yeah. the champions or whoever becomes champion, and uh, you know just goes on for a little bit. CM Punk comes out. They exchange yeah. words. Uh, Kevin Nash basically says, "Would you like to see the text message?" that I have on my telephone. Side note, Kevin, it's not a telephone. It's 2011. It is called a mobile, or it is called a cell phone. Well, the technical... Telephone is home phone. No, I think a telephone covers it all. But, I think if you, like, um, you're, like you said in your favorite site there, Wikipedia, if you telephone, I think it'll show up all phones. But, uh... <laughs> Anyway, you know, then CM Punk turns around and like, would you like to see the message I got from my sister, my little sister? Uh, hold on, uh, let, let me, let me read it. He goes, oh my god, Kevin Nash, WTF, 
I thought he was dead. LOL. And, you know, it was... <laughs> Classic CM Punk, man. And then he turns around and he goes, Have you not been watching the show? Like, I do and say what I want to who I want to say it to. And, you know, and they just go back and forth and exchange words. But there was then... And then they would look... And just when we thought we were going to get a battle... Security. Exactly, security. And it's not security trying to prevent... It's not trying to pr keep Punk back, like Punk's afraid. It was protecting Nash. Like who for sent what? Who sent those security guards out? That's right. Like, will you check the time real quick for me, bud? You know, it was nuts. Like the whole security just walks from the side of the barricade and protects Nash. Like Nash needs protecting. But the thing, one thing I did want to touch on, um, is that Kevin Nash looked a little. How long? Okay, we got about five minutes left on this video, guys. JC just was our official time keeper. Keeper. He played Mark Eaton tonight. Remember that back in the day, back Mark in Eaton's that. Mark Eaton's mama ain't shit. But remember back in the day, you knew every single person at ringside. No. Oh, side note: two people got suspended from WWE. Mike Chioda for his first violation of the wellness policy, oh, and Andy Levine, winner of Tough Enough Season 1 for a violation of the wellness policy. I don't have any more info. When I get it, it'll be a breaking news update to you guys. Um, Anything you know, more about the Nash and Punk, or do you just want to finish this match card? I just really wanted to see a battle, but I guess we didn't get to see it, and we're going to have to wait. And Maybe Night of Champions. Probably. Or pay-per-view after that. Yeah, Probably. Depends. <laughs> then we go into uh, Swag Swagger versus Riley. This starts off as a solid match, but we have Dolph Ziggler and Vicky uh, at ringside. We end up seeing Vicky grab JR's hat and kind of distracting, uh, distracting, excuse me, Alex Riley. Swagger picks up the win, and then post match, Dolph Ziggler just being a complete dick just steps on JR's yeah. hat and then throws it on his head for like no freaking reason. I don't know. Just uh, I, again, I still think that Alex Riley. Dolph Ziggler should have been on last night's match, pay-per-view. There would have been, it would have been good to throw a couple more matches on last night's pay-per-view, but the only problem with that is all the matches we had last night went nice length, and they were all decent. Yeah, but, I mean, the thing is, I mean, it, it, with the, in in place of the, the, the what was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one match between Ray and The Miz, I would have kind of have liked to seen an Intercontinental Championship well, I found out a little more or a United States Championship. I found out a little more scoop on that. The reason they switched it from a one-on-one -on -one to a three-on-three -three match is because they did not want Ray in the uh, ring full-time because they were afraid Ray was going to injure his knee and wasn't going to be able to wrestle tonight after hyping tonight's match. Ray is hurt, man. And that is like, so the then why line. would you? So then, if he's hurt, then why book him in a match? That's what I don't understand. Because he's a huge attraction. People have paid money to see Rey Mysterio, and they want to see him. Well, up until about a week ago, Rey Mysterio wasn't even booked for SummerSlam. I mean, I I know it's amazing how fast the dynamics of the WWE is changing. Yeah, CM Punk, that a guy I love CM Punk, but a guy that the fans weren't even crazy about two months ago. Now he's the greatest thing since sliced white bread. I mean, it's amazing how fast the dynamic of these fans are changing this day. You know, they're just... Because people... They're because gravitating the, towards the reason these why, The reason why people like Punk so much is because he's the only person in the business right now that'll speak the truth about John Cena and the, and the current backstage politics. Well, they have harbored the internet wrestling community, as they like to call us, the 10 percenters, and he is now the voice of us. Yeah. And that, that's one of the reasons I respect the hell out of him, what he's doing out there. He has pushed the limits so week in and week uh, out. So let's run throughout the rest of the card. Exactly. We had two more matches. Uh, we won't dwell on a uh, non-title match for the WWE Tag Team Championships. We saw the new Nexus go against Kofi and Bourne. We see Kofi and Bourne pick up the win. Which probably possibly puts them in contention for a tag team title shot, which will probably be either on Superstars this week or Monday Night Raw next week. Or Friday Night SmackDown. Or Friday Night SmackDown. Hey, okay, maybe Friday Night SmackDown this Friday night. Who knows? And then for the main event, for not this undisputed title, but for the WWE Undisputed Championship that was combined last night, we see Alberto Del Rio defend against, wow, I really screwed up my notes, ADR defends against Del Rio. Hmm, I guess against Ray Mysterio. <laughs> you know, this match was actually pretty good. There was a couple of nice spots, not to dwell on it too much. The outcome, I really didn't like. You know, like I said, I wanted to see Ray pick up the win. And, you know, just when you thought night was going to go so by so smoothly, lo and behold, da, 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 da. that scumbag comes walking out. With his bright ass, perp oh, I'm sorry, his bright ass red shirt looking like a fucking bowl of fucking Kool Aid with his red hat and red wristbands and 
Google that. Kool Aid. Who was that? Was that Dane Cook? Yeah, Kool Aid man. You know, I was just waiting for a big. I was just waiting for a bunch of little kids to start running up around the ring trying to get some Kool Aid. But I don't know. You know, th I don't know. Then he cuts a promo and basically says basically the same thing we already know. I like what Triple H said earlier in the night, and it kind of totally negated what Cena said at the end of the night. This is the nature of Money in the Bank. Yeah. You bust your ass to win that ladder match, but and the thing you is, though, Cena is more of a Cena is more of a traditional style wrestler, and I think that's where he was coming from. But that is the tra yeah. that is that the is the traditional. But I just see, yeah. just Cena doesn't like how the, how it went about, and you know, this is you know how Cena is. You know, yeah. how he's more traditional than anything. Exactly, but, but that is the nature of Money in the Bank. So it is part of the WWE now, and once you win it. You have a shot. At I'm the title. praising Daniel Bryan if he cashes in and wins at WrestleMania. I'm praising him because, regardless of what's happening, he will be the first person since RVD to actually cash it in as a, on a physical match. Yeah, and he said uh, he did an interview, I believe, with Jimmy Cordero some right after wrestling. I'm not positive, and he talked about he would love to face either Shawn Michaels if he was to return, which is a long shot, yeah. or Randy Orton at WrestleMania yeah. 28. So guys, before we run out of time on this video, thanks for watching. This has been our Monday Night Raw review. Please check out our channel for some of our other great content. Check out Most Extreme Wrestling, Wrestling Revolution, The Effing True Click, and anything else? Effing True Entertainment, your source for news, videos, video games, and life in general. And uh, thanks for watching.